Hello YouTube, welcome to my next small project. This, I call these a grandma shopping cart. They fold up. You'll see the whole thing when I'm done. Okay. Here's the wheels that's on it. Shaky wore out. I call it grandma cart because my grandma had one. I'd help go them go get groceries and I'd wheel this out to the garage, out to the car to unload the Buick. Yes, they had a Buick. And wheel it up the house, rip, pull it up the fort steps into the house there. So it went almost exactly like this. Okay, stay on track here. Okay, this axle is well up to the back. If I can get down here, you can see. Well up to the back here. Okay, which causes it to pivot. I can't reach it. It causes the pivot on these pivot. You can do it on these swivel parts where this is looped and bent over. I'll snap a picture of it. Okay, this is 9 16 these are 5 8 so I'll be making a shim out of some copper pipe or some pipe or something, I have some copper flashing. Now these are only a half inch hole, so I'm going to see if I have a 9 16 bit. I may have one. Bore them out somehow. Those may go on the front, because the front is those wimpy little cheesy that I'll snap some photos you can see how shot they are we loaded this down with groceries and bottle two liter bottles pop because we'll go shopping for every two weeks boy I couldn't make it across the carpet in the living room I thought I was plowing a furrow or something in a field but we'll give you little clips as we go along on this thing so this isn't too long of a video here but these are off an old air compressor now why I do kind of like a big lawnmower tire these are probably nine, and I think these are ten. I'm not exact, so I think I'm pretty close. These are about a nine, and these are about a ten. So we're gonna jack it up, hop it up. So stay tuned. Okay, we got this piece clamped in here along the cart. This is to keep the tab straight with the world. The axle is gonna set on here. So you'll see when we're done. Just thought I'd show that. This is to keep everything straight with the world there. Let's put a few tacks and then we'll find a way to strengthen it. This, just to get the axle mounted, then we'll figure out what it's going to take to make it stronger. Stay tuned. Listen to them birdies. Oh, now it's going to be quiet. Okay, we got our axle welded on here and we put an old uh, yardstick down here, aluminum one, so we got plenty of clearance because this is where this swivels, where it's looped over. We got three tabs that might hold the groceries there. Okay, gotta scrub these dirty old wheels. And we got a hole for our cotter pin. There, get it in frame. I used my homemade V block in the drill press and I just held it. I made a punch mark and I just held it and made sure it looked like it was going in straight. Wasn't that big of a deal if it was off, as long as the cotter pin goes away. But plenty of room for washers, because we have to shim it out. Here, we'll get in there, just a little bit. We're going to probably put a washer on the inside, then tack weld it on the back, so the wheel can only go on so far. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Okay, we're done with this end. Then we're going to probably get some aluminum paint. Unless we get crazy and paint the whole thing black, but I don't really want to do that. But there you go. Got three tabs. We had a picture, and I think we explained that. Okay, back to work. Okay, we did. We split a lock washer part in the vise with a chisel. Kind of complicated to explain, but anyway, we spread it apart. We just used that as a stop. Here's a washer, big washer here with our cotter pin. And it'll fit up against there. And this is done. We're on to doing the front wheels. Sorry about moving the camera so fast. But we'll snap a couple more pictures here. Stay tuned. Okay, there's the finished cart. We did scrub those wheels the best we could. We may paint them black. There you go. That's what it looks like. It doesn't fold up as tight as it did before. 
needs to fold up a little bit closer. That's good enough to store it away. Okay, enough of this project. Probably too long a video. Thanks for watching. I have plenty of pictures.